So hi everyone and welcome back once again to the session of PIB Current Affairs where we are going to discuss some more questions from the PIB news which are relevant for all the government exams. So without any delay let's begin with the session but before we begin if you are coming here for the first time do subscribe to the channel and press this bell icon. You can also join this telegram group. Here you will get the PDF of this session after the session is completed you can also ask your doubts here. You can also follow me here. Here also you can ask anything related to examinations. All right. So let's begin with the very first question. Very, very important question. It is definitely coming in, 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 in your exams. So which of the following statements is incorrect with respect to the smile scheme of ministry of social justice and empowerment. Now you must be wondering that why we are discussing it right now because it was launched last year in the year 2021. It was launched by the ministry. So why we are discussing about this. So we are discussing about this because last year it was announced and this time it has been formally launched by the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment and that's why it is important to discuss it. All right. So let's talk about this uh, news then. Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment headed by Dr. Virendra Kumar. Dr. Virendra Kumar is the minister. So he has launched Smile Scheme and do remember the full form of Smile also. Support for marginalized individuals for livelihood and enterprise. Support for marginalized individuals for livelihood and enterprise is the full form of SMILE scheme. Now as the name suggests, the objective of this particular scheme is to provide welfare measures to the transgender community and those people who are engaged in the act of begging. Okay, so basically this scheme caters to two uh, criteria, uh, two category of uh, people. Number one is transgender and number two is the people who are engaged in the act of begging. It has been launched from this financial year 21-22 and it will be under implementation till the financial year 2026 which means for a period of uh, four years. All right. Now there are two sub schemes under this. Okay, basically it is a convergence. It is a convergence of already existing two schemes. These two schemes are already existing. So it has converged these two schemes which is central sector scheme for comprehensive rehabilitation for welfare of transgender persons and central sector scheme for comprehensive rehabilitation of of people yeah, by people may so get ahead of people engaged in the act of begging all right so this is a convergence of these two sub schemes and total rupees 365 crore will be used to uplift the status of transgenders and the people who are engaged in the act of begging all right now what will be the components under the sub scheme of transgender the transgender wala sub scheme hai uske andar kya kya components honge basically what they are going to do how they will uplift the status, how they will uplift the socio-economic status of the transgender. So number one, the scholarship will be provided to transgender students from class 9th till post-graduation. Number two, skill development and livelihood promotion will be there under Pradhan Mantri Daksh scheme of the ministry. Convergence with Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana, thereby providing them with support for the medical areas. All right. Housing will be provided in the form of Garima Grah. Setting up of transgender protection cell in each state to monitor the case of offenses related to the transgenders. And there will be a national portal and helpline to provide support to the transgenders. All right. So this, these are some of the components through which the support will be provided to the transgenders. Next, there are three important components in the sub scheme of begging. All right. So number one is a survey will be conducted and the beneficiaries will be identified. Kaun se actual beneficiaries hai? Unko identify kiya jayega. Number two, after identifying the beneficiaries, the people will be mobilized. The persons engaged in the act of begging, begging will be mobilized and they will be provided shelter homes. And finally, shelter homes to facilitate education for children engaged in begging and children of persons engaged in the act of begging. All right. Basically, if there is a person A, if there is a child uh, begging, karta hai, ठीक है तो उसको सपोर्ट प्रोवाइड कराया जाएगा या फिर कोई चाइल्ड अगर कोई एक्ट ऑफ बेगिंग में इन्वॉल्व है तो उसको भी एजुकेशन सपोर्ट प्रोवाइड कराया जाएगा ऑलराइट सो अभी के लिए इस स्कीम में इतना ही पढ़ना है नाउ लेट्स कम बैक टू द क्वेश्चन देन यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द इनकरेक्ट स्टेटमेंट द स्कीम हैज बीन लॉन्च्ड फॉर अ पीरियड ऑफ 2021 टू 2025 2026 सो दिस इज एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट ऑलराइट द टोटल आउटले इज रुपीस 365 करोड़ ये भी सही है Skill development of transgenders will be done under PM Daksh scheme. Yes, absolutely correct. The scheme is an, an umbrella scheme for supporting transgender and beggars. Yes. So these are the two categories of persons who will be benefited from this particular schemes. 
एंड हाउसिंग अंडर पीएम आवास योजना विल बी प्रोवाइडेड टू ट्रांसजेंडर नो इट इज नॉट अंडर पीएम आवास योजना इट इज अंडर गरिमा ग्रह और गरिमा ग्रह के अंदर उनको हाउसिंग प्रोवाइड कराई जाएगी सो दिस विल बी दी करेक्ट आंसर ऑप्शन ई बिकॉज वी हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई दी इन करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट नाउ मूविंग अहेड टू क्वेश्चन नंबर टू Which of the following institutes had instituted national awards for innovation and good practices in education administration in 2014? कौन से institute ने institute किया था इस award को? Now we are discussing about this award because recently the fifth edition of these awards, national awards for innovation and good practices in education administration, has been presented by the Ministry of Education. And who is the minister, by the way? Mr. Dharmendra Pradhan, who is also the Minister of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. All right. so these awards were given to encourage innovations and good practices in the educational administrations basically it is to felicitate the education officers across the country hamare desh ke jo education officers hain unko uh, basically support karne ke liye unko uh, felicitate karne ke liye these awards were given all right now these were instituted by national institute of educational planning and administration all right national institute for educational planning and administration and these awards are given at district level and block level education officers and this time in the fifth edition uh, from 29 states and uts hundreds of hundreds of officers were awarded for their good performance in this area all right so therefore guys the correct answer will be what national institute of educational planning and administration option a will be the correct answer Moving ahead to question number three, very very important question again. Consider the following statements with respect to the report titled "Reimagining Healthcare India Through Blended Finance," released by Niti Aayog. Any report released by Niti Aayog becomes automatically important. Do remember this, and you have to identify the correct statements. All right, so let's talk about this report. Remember the title. This is very important. Reimagining Healthcare India Through Blended Finance, and it has been released by Niti Aayog. All right, Niti Aayog. Okay, and what is the meaning of blended finance, by the way? So, blended finance means the the financial support from both public and private. Public and private से जब total मिलके finance आता है तो उसको हम क्या बोलते हैं? Blended finance बोलते हैं. Remember, this report throws a light on India's healthcare structure and how we can ensure affordable and quality healthcare to the citizens of India. Okay, and this report में ये कुछ बातें कही गई हैं जो कि important है. Number one, the very important thing that 65% of the hospital beds across the country cater to 50% of the Indian population, which is concentrated in UP, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Telangana, West Bengal, and Kerala. In these seven states, जो ये सात states की 50% population है, उनको 65% of the hospital beds cater करता है, and the rest, uh, 35% caters to the rest 50% of the Indian population. All right, and That's why this report recommended that the number of beds must be increased by 30% to ensure equitable access to the hospital beds. Hospital beds की कितनी मारा मारी हुई थी ये हमने COVID में देखा था. इस तरीके की emergency situation के लिए we need to be prepared because uh, you never know कि कब क्या हो जाए. Right? This report says that India's healthcare expenditure is 3.6% of the GDP, and globally, India's pharmaceutical sector is third largest by the volume. And हॉस्पिटल सेक्टर इन इंडिया अकाउंट्स फॉर 80 परसेंट ऑफ टोटल हेल्थ केयर मार्केट जो पूरा टोटल हेल्थ केयर का मार्केट है उसमें 80 परसेंट मार्केट जो है वो हॉस्पिटल सेक्टर की है और इसी बात का फायदा उठाते हैं प्राइवेट हॉस्पिटल्स इतने हाई रेट्स पे चीजें चार्ज करते हैं दैट इज वाई देर इज अ नीड ऑफ यू नो अफोर्डेबल हेल्थ केयर इन इन द कंट्री सो वी हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई दी करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट अकॉर्डिंग टू द रिपोर्ट सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ दी हॉस्पिटल रेट्स केटर टू फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द इंडियन पॉपुलेशन इन सेवन स्टेट दिस इज एब्सोलूटली करेक्ट इंडिया हेल्थ केयर एक्सपेंडिचर इज थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स परसेंट ऑफ द जी डी पी ये भी सही है बिल्कुल सही बात है एंड हॉस्पिटल सेक्टर इन इंडिया अकाउंट्स फॉर एट्टी परसेंट ऑफ टोटल हेल्थ केयर मार्केट सो ऑल द स्टेटमेंट्स आर एब्सोलूटली करेक्ट विच मीन ऑल आर करेक्ट ऑप्शन ई विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर ऑल राइट सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दी क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर देन विद विच ऑफ दी फॉलोइंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आई एम कोजिकोए हैज साइंड अ स्टेटमेंट ऑफ इंटेंट टू बूस्ट इंडिया मॉनिटरिंग एंड इवेल्युएशन इन्वायरमेंट नाउ अगेन इन दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन we do not have to go into the details just remember the organizations between which this uh, statement of intent or mou or partnership or agreement has been signed just remember the organizations and the objective why this uh, agreement has been signed so the objective is to boost india's monitoring and evaluation environment now this is very very important because kya hota hai 
कि वट हैपन इज दैट वी लॉन्च स्कीम्स ओके वी वी हैव लॉन्च लेट से वी हैव लॉन्च एनी पर्टिकुलर गवर्नमेंट स्कीम ठीक है इट इट्स सक्सेस इट्स सक्सेस डिपेंड्स ऑन इट्स ऑन इट्स मॉनिटरिंग ऑन इट्स प्रॉपर मॉनिटरिंग एंड प्रॉपर इवेल्युएशन अदरवाइज क्या होगा कि अगर हम किसी चीज को लॉन्च करके छोड़ देंगे तो फिर उसकी अगर मॉनिटरिंग नहीं करेंगे तो हमें पता ही नहीं चलेगा कि हाउ दैट पर्टिकुलर स्कीम और प्रोग्राम इज परफॉर्मिंग एंड हाउ वी कैन इंप्रूव इट राइट सो दैट्स वाई इंडिया का जो मॉनिटरिंग और इवेल्युएशन एनवायरमेंट है उसको इंप्रूव करने के लिए दिस स्टेटमेंट ऑफ इंटेंट हैज बिन साइन बिटवीन आई एम कोजिकोडे एंड डेवलपमेंट मॉनिटरिंग एंड इवेल्युएशन ऑफिस विच इज एन अटैच ऑफिस अंडर नीति आयोग राइट सो ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर and the last question for today what is the literacy rate of minorities communities christian jain sikhs and buddhist as per census 2011 now you must be wondering why we are discussing it because in a recent reply submitted by the ministry of minority affairs uh, they have talked about this thing so kyunki unhone baat kari hai parliament mein so there is a chance that a question can be asked from this uh, particular area now remember अगर मैं आरबीआई और नबार्ड की बात करता हूं सो इट कंस्टिट्यूट दी सोशल इश्यूज पार्ट जो इकोनॉमिक एंड सोशल इश्यूज वाला पार्ट है ये उसके सिलेबस का पार्ट बन जाएगा राइट सो व्हाट इज द लिटरेसी रेट ऑफ माइनॉरिटी कमीज कम्युनिटीज एंड दीज आर फोर क्रिश्चियन जैन सिक्स एंड बुद्धिस्ट सो द मिनिस्ट्री सेट दैट दीज फोर कम्युनिटीज दीज फोर माइनॉरिटी कम्युनिटीज हैव द लिटरेसी रेट मोर देन दी नेशनल एवरेज इन्होंने बताया कि नेशनल एवरेज से ज्यादा है विच इज सेवेंटी टू एंड मुस्लिम्स का थोड़ा सा कम है ज्यादा कम नहीं मैं बोलूंगा 68.54 परसेंट है राइट right? और जिस तरीके से हमारी सरकार काम कर रही है तो डेफिनेटली मुस्लिम्स की लिटरेसी रेट भी ऊपर आ जाएगी राइट सो ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर सो दैट्स इट फॉर द सेशन टुडे गाइस आई होप ऑल द क्वेश्चंस आर क्लियर इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट यू कैन आस्ट मी इन द कमेंट सेक्शन थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग गुड बाय टेक केयर एंड गॉड प्लेस